Hello everyone, my name is Michael Michael and I'm the Senior Director of Products at Aprenda. Today, I'm coming to you live from the IBM Interconnect Conference in Las Vegas. We have some exciting announcements to make. Aprenda and IBM have teamed together to bring full .NET support to applications running in IBM Bluemix. Aprenda is a key technology powering the backbone for .NET support, extending from full .NET runtime support for applications to introducing the entire Microsoft ecosystem of, of tools and services. This now means that developers can use familiar tools like Visual Studio and Team Foundation Server to build and deploy their Windows-based applications. Developers can also tap into the broadest set of Bluemix services, including the cognitive services offered by IBM Watson, and make those services available to .NET applications running on Aprenda. Let's get started here and show you what this looks like in real time. What I'm looking at here is my IBM Bluemix services dashboard. And I already have a service provisioned here for my virtual private network. So let me go ahead and pick create a service here. And IBM is gonna show me the entire services catalog. I'm gonna go ahead and search for Aprenda here. And there's an option here for the Aprenda Cloud Platform, which offers a Bluemix.net support power, by, powered by Aprenda. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what this process will do is we'll create a subscription for Aprenda. Uh, notice that this is in alpha edition. So this uh, enables early adopters to have access to .NET support on Bluemix and the pricing is free right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create here. And what this will do is it will call back into Aprenda and notify us that this specific Bluemix customer would like to purchase uh, the alpha edition of Bluemix.net powered by Aprenda, create um, a subscription for this user and be ready to accept this user logging in and utilizing Aprenda. So that process is complete now. So we get the link here to open the Aprenda Cloud Platform dashboard so that we can start uh, utilizing the Aprenda instance that we have provisioned. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, and this will redirect me to the Bluemix Aprenda portal. Um, this welcomes me, it knows already who I am, and it has identified me uh, using the unique identifier for my Bluemix space. Um, I also have an email address, which is the space ID at appdirect.com. Now, what Aprenda did behind the scenes, it has used an open ID reliant party to authenticate with the identity provider offered by Bluemix, and in essence, exchange information about my identity. So Aprenda already knows who I am, uh, it knows that I already have created a subscription in Bluemix. So now it is providing me with a token here that I can use to go and provision a new development team in Aprenda so that I can get to deploy uh, .NET applications. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the complete registration here. I already copied the signup token um, into my clipboard. And now I'm redirected to the Aprenda developer portal where I get to sign in a new account as a development team. I'm gonna call, uh, my name is Michael Michael, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my name here and I'm gonna enter my email address. I'm gonna pick a very simple password here. And I'm gonna call my organization M2 Investments. Uh, I could enter additional details like my address, my CD zip code. Uh, these are optional details that you can enter when creating a new development team in Aprenda. The one important thing to note here is that it does require me to enter my signup token. Uh, this is a subscription-based uh, creation of the development team, and Aprenda requires me to have a signup token in order to create a development team. That signup token is the one that was provisioned for me when I created a new instance of my application in Bluemix. Um, now the registration will take a few seconds here and what Aprenda is doing is it will create a new tenant account for me. I will create a new development team for me and I can use that information to log in into Aprenda. Uh, once that is complete, it will redirect me to the development portal where I can go and start provisioning applications. While that's happening, I'm gonna search for Aprenda downloads here and I'm gonna go to Aprenda 
and copy the link to a very simple uh, multi-tiered .NET application called TimeCard that I can use to, um, to provision into this, my new development team. So let's go ahead and search for TimeCard here. Uh, we have a zip file here for TimeCard. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link location. And going back, notice that I was redirected to my development portal. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my TimeCard application here. Notice how easy it is. All I have to enter is a few information about my application, like the name and alias. And I am able to point a prender to a zip file that is a well-structured format uh, that includes all the different binaries that my application needs, and I'm immediately able to have an application up and running in Apprenda in a manner of minutes. All of that powered by Bluemix.net. So my application now is in what you call the definition stage. And I'm gonna go ahead and move it through the lifecycle stage so that it can enter the sandbox stage, which is the dev test of uh, life cycle in Apprenda. We also have a publish stage where your application is set to be in production. Uh, while my application is promoting and going from the definition stage to the sandbox stage, I get a very useful uh, report card that indicates the different steps that Apprenda is taking into publishing my application, how much time is being spent on each step, and eventually, if there are any failures, it will be very specific as to the cause of the failure and how me as a developer can go about remediating that issue. Now, while this process is happening, I wanna go back to the page that we were earlier, which is the landing page for the Apprenda Cloud Platform on Bluemix. Um, in addition to the sign up token, there's a lot of information here to help us get started with Apprenda. It includes information on how to get help and support on our Slack channel. It has an email address that you can email to create a new incident ticket if you need support. You can also trigger that by clicking on the help button here and creating a new support ticket to, uh, that will be immediately put into the Zendesk queue at Apprenda. And we have also included a tremendous amount of information on documentation on how to get started with Apprenda, how do you get onboarded as a new development team, how do you create new applications, uh, look at different features of, for full .NET support in Apprenda, as well as how do you onboard additional users to your development team. And that's this link that I'm hovering over right now. So we're gonna go ahead and follow that link in a second so that I can show you how to add a new developer to your development team. Now our application is up and running and it already finished promoting. So I'm gonna go ahead, and go ahead and start it up so I can show you how we took this application from a traditional zip file that contains binary code for my app. I onboarded it in a self-service way and in a manner of a few minutes, I have a running multi-tier application backed up, backed up by a SQL Server database uh, running using ASP.NET and WCF services. So I can go ahead and add an employee time card here, and I'm gonna call it Michael Michael, senior director, and click save. And there you go, we have a multi-tier .NET application running on Apprenda. So that's all great. So now what if I wanna have additional users or additional developers from my team to also give them the ability to onboard applications into Apprenda? I'm gonna go back to our landing page. We're gonna follow the link to the account portal. So I'm gonna search for account portal here. And if you click on this link here, it will show you the complete documentation on how to manage your account profile, creating and managing users, managing subscriptions, RBAC, and so on and so forth. Um, so let's go ahead and go to that page here. And the URL is apps.bm.apprenda.com slash account. We will click on the users tab and we'll notice here that there is already one user existing and that's me. I'm the tenant administrator of the development team. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new user and it's gonna be another email address I have here. And I'm gonna call it Michael2, the second Michael. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this user. So now what Apprenda will do is it's gonna email this user at mitchmike at gmail.com and notify them that they have been onboarded into Apprenda and to go ahead and pick a password 
for their account. Not this. All I got did was enter the email address and they get to pick their own password. Now let's create a role so that this user has some privileges. So I'm gonna call it the developer role. This is a role for developers in my team. I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And I'm gonna add Michael to, to this developer role. So now I have added him. The next step now is to grant that user some privileges in the developer portal of Aprenda. So if I click on applications, I have the developer portal here and there's an access control and security link. By clicking on that, I get to see the role I just created called developer. And I see a set of securables, which are privileges that I can enable or grant to this role. And I wanna allow them to be able to manage applications, uh, manage events like the logs and manage workloads. I could of course grant more privileges or revoke some of these privileges at any point in time I would like. So now what we did is we created a secondary developer, we added him to a role and we granted them some privileges. In order for them to be able to log in to the developer portal of Aprenda, we also need to grant them a subscription to the developer portal. So let's go ahead and grant, create a new subscription for this user. I only want one subscription to be created. So when we look at the offerings here and the subscriptions, I'm only gonna pick one as the quantity of subscriptions. I'm only onboarding one user. If I was onboarding more than one user, I could of course um, multiply the number to the number of uh, users that I wanted to onboard. So, so now that we created a new subscription, I'm gonna go ahead and assign the subscription to the Michael to developer. So this is my subscription here. It says I have one allocated and one vacant. I get to click view subscriptions here. I will click on the Michael, second Michael, and click auto assign, and immediately he gets assigned the second subscription. Now this user is gonna be able to use their mitchmike at gmail.com email address and the password that they can reset using the link that was emailed to them by Aprenda, and immediately they'll be able to log in into Aprenda and be able to manage the same applications that I had access to as the tenant administrator of the development team. Now, if I go back to my Bluemix portal and I click the dashboard, I will be able to see all the services I provisioned, including the Aprenda Cloud Platform service. And I can use the link here to um, delete the service, rename the service, or I can click on it to manage it and that re will redirect me back into Aprenda, where now, since I have already created a tenant, it is now aware of that and it's telling me that I am the development team owner in Aprenda for the following tenant and it's giving me some specific details about my tenant administrator here, including my email address, the name of that tenant administrator and the development team that I created in Aprenda. I can use these details now to be able to log in back to the developer portal of Aprenda to manage my applications or I can go to the account portal to be able to um, uh, add additional users, uh, control the RBAC of those users, add or revoke privileges, and so on and so forth. Thank you for uh, watching this video, and we hope that this is a quick video to help you get started with uh, the .NET capabilities on Bluemix, powered by the Aprenda Cloud Platform. Thank you.